Lawn care definitely begins to change in the fall in Louisiana. One of the great things that we all look forward to is not having to mow our grass as often, and then eventually as it goes dormant, we can put the lawnmowers up all together. Some things that you don't want to do this time, that you don't want to disturb the grass any, so don't fill over it, don't do any airification or anything that might disturb it, and don't fertilize this time of the year. You're liable to make the grass more susceptible to cold if you put fertilizer out like, like this, and you also make the grass more susceptible to diseases. Now, the most notable disease that we have this time of the year is brown patch. You can see some brown patch symptoms right here. St. Augustine grass by far and away is the most susceptible to brown patch and it's especially prevalent when the temperatures are mild daytime highs in the 60s and 70s and we've been getting abundant moisture like rainfall moving through the area. Now what you're going to see are spots that start off relatively small and then rapidly begin to enlarge. They oftentimes have a somewhat roundish look to them but they may be irregular looking as well. And if you look carefully you may actually begin to see a sort of a, an orangish or yellowish area right around the outside where the fungus is most active. Now the good news is the fungus usually just kills the grass blades. The runners and roots are still alive and the grass can recover, but damaged grass doesn't green up as early in the spring and may be more pro prone to cold injury. So if you see these symptoms in your yard, stop by your local nursery or garden center. There are a wide variety of products that work very well on this disease. Purchase one of those and use it per label directions to stop the damage from getting any worse. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.